I'm like, I'm going to give you all I got, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, he was just, he just didn't have enough. Yeah, definitely. ESBC in the house. As we see, Marco Arroyo, another 209 fighter from Stockton. Inside the ring now, this is a second pro fight. Got some flyweights on deck now, four rounds. Third fight of the night. A lot of you watching us right now on Fight Up TV are here to watch this young man take the next step in his pro career. It's facing off against Alberto Martinez of Tijuana, Mexico. With a total of three pro fights. See him getting greased up right now in his corner. Big fan base that Arroyo carries. Like I mentioned, something in the water in Stockton. It's a scrappy city with a lot of game fighters. It's a good way to put it, Marco. Something in the water. Taking now to Pablo Flores. Let's get this match started. Damas y caballeros, Boris Teca Boxing Promotions y BIB, the best in boxing. Presentan este encuentro pactado a cuatro rounds en la división de peso mosca. Let's get ready for four rounds of boxing in the flyweight division. Here are three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Francisco Pacheco, Iván Velasco y Max Zúñiga La Bandera. And your referee in charge, su referee Juan Morales Lee. Introducing the fighters standing in the blue corner. We're in silver trunks with black trim. He officially weighs in at 113 and a half pounds. Su rival en la esquina azul, vistiendo pantalones en color plata con negro, con un peso de 113.5 libras. He stands with a record of no wins against three losses. Cuenta con un record de cero victorias por tres derrotas. De Tijuana, Baja California. Cesar Alberto Martinez. And he's supporting across the ring, standing in the red corner, wearing the Mexican colors, green, white, and red. He officially weighs in at 113 and a half pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo los colores mexicanos, verde, blanco, y rojo, con un peso idéntico de 113.5 libras. He stands with a record of one victory against no losses. Cuenta con un record de una victoria por cero derrotas. Representando, representing Stockton, California, USA, y Mexicali, Baja California, Marco Arroyo. And here is with the final instructions, su referee, Juan Morales de Cuatro asaltos. Saben las reglas, llévenlas a cabo. Mucho cuidado con la cabeza. No rabi poi, no riñones, no bajo de cinturón. Dense la mano, que gane el mejor suerte para los dos. Sí, de Young, Marco Arroyo. 22 years of age, about to go into the second career fight of his young career. He's in the white shorts with red and green trim, taking on Cesar Alberto Martinez in the gray shorts with black trim. Arroyo from Stockton, California, 1-0. You know, I like this kid, Arroyo. You know, he has style. Um, you know, he has he has poise. You know, and he likes to box. You know, what more can you ask of a kid just starting out? And he's passionate about what he does, so I'm expecting a lot of good things from him. Very good combination. Yeah, he really dug that punch there inside of Martinez. Stop! Stop! <laughs> it's tall for flyweight as well. So is those long, lanky kids that have the most pop on their punches, too. Very true. Stop! Why is that, Chris? A little more distance. Stop. That punch travels. Um, and that's what you want. You want that that space in order to, to punch hard. Think about Tommy Hearns, that long right hand, devastating. So 
Royals corner imploring him to use the hook. He's doing good work with his jab right now. It's been active so far in this first round. Yeah, this is we're seeing a, a, a good boxer right now, and this is what I like to see. You know, I like to see guys who have ring generalship, and his punches are crisp. You, you know, you can hear him from all the way over here. I'm sure you guys on the other side can hear it through our, our uh, uh, microphones. You're like, this, this is a good kid right here. Good boxer. Martinez finally landing a series of punches there. Both fighters in close quarters in the clinch. Yeah, Martinez doing trying to do the only thing he can do is get on the inside, but. Um, Arroyo has good footwork. Yes. Good footwork, good defense. Like uh, like so many people say, you know, boxing is about hitting and not getting hit. <laughs> so. Martinez, though, has landed a few punches. He is trying to make it dirty. He gets clocked with the hook there, but I, I think that's his best chance is to bull rush, try to rough up Arroyo, and then get out of there so he doesn't get countered. And yeah, as soon as he steps shot. in, he gets countered to the body. Good shots by Arroyo right there. Oh, God. Beautiful jab just now. He didn't even see it coming at all. Yeah, Martinez, he's trying to box, but he's getting frustrated and say, you know what, I just got to go in and try to get a little piece of something. And that's really the only game plan he has. He's trying to work an uppercut there. Both fighters on the inside. Referee forcing them to break up. Yeah. I wouldn't say game plan. Um, I say that's the only choice he has. <laughs> choice, is, yeah. Yeah, is to go forward and, and try to be on the inside. Yeah. Because if he stays on the outside, Arroyo's going to eat him up. So we had round number one. The yeah. thing that impressed me most about the work that Marco Arroyo did was a consistent and active jab and work to the body with hooks. Yeah, he threw a, a couple good body shots, uh, did a Royal Marco, and uh, I like that. You know, the, the fact that, that he was able to still keep his composure, throw those hooks to the body, and then go back to that jab. So we take a look back at some action from round number one, Kevin. Walk us through it. Yeah, that was great just now. Um, as we see, he, um, he really is timed that right. He didn't land it perfectly or whatnot, but yeah, coming, doubling up with that hook, you know, that, that's really great things you want to see early on in a fighter's career, so. It's a good timing, too. Yes. That's Round number two, now underway. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, I was like, you know, he reminds me of Diego Corrales in a way. In a way. Um, just tall, lanky. Tall and lanky, skinny. Hooks. Yeah, even though he's a very, very small version, I, I could definitely see a lot of Diego Corrales in him. I think one of the keys for him in uh, furthering his career is going to be developing power. Um, I think that'll help him a lot, get, get, get guys out of there early. Well, they are in the flyweight division. It's kind of hard to generate that, yeah. that power, you know. Um, guys, so, some guys do, you know. You have your exceptions, you know, Nonito Donaire, uh, Victor Chinian. Uh, you have a few. You know, it, it, it's rare, though, I'd say. You know, he, he is young, he's 22, he's going to fill out at some point too as well, so would not be surprised me if we see him move up a few divisions as well, and that's when uh, potentially the power could start coming into play for him. Yeah, definitely, he's got the height, um, you know, featherweight maybe. Corner imploring him to mix up his offense, wanting him to go up and down, up and down. Is that a good choice there, Kevin? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, it keeps it keeps uh, Martinez guessing. You know, doesn't know where he. Martinez sneaks a little uh, sneaky uppercut just now, but it just keeps him guessing, not knowing what his uh, you know that attack is going to come from next. So, good game plan. He's got very good defense, good Larry. work. Yeah, a lot going along with those uh, solid shots that he's able to throw. And I like how he follows the, you know like two, you know two or three punches I should say. Uh, he, he's throwing. He's throwing at least two punches that I like. You know, I would like to see him throw like three or four. It's good round number two so far for Marco Arroyo. 
known as Marquito. I go by that too, though. <laughs> as he's in control of this round number two. Good defense there, shucking off those shots there from Cesar Alberto Martinez. He's trying to mount some sort of offense. You know, like we mentioned, his only chance is to come forward and make an open fight. He's trying to do that. Thing is, Royo just so tall and active with this jab, he's able to keep him off. And when he does get crowded, he's able to move away. And he's got good defense, does Arroyo. Sneaky shot from Arroyo. And that's a three punch combination. He's coming to the end of round number two. And that's another lead hook. Sneaks in an uppercut, follows up with two excellent. more punches. That was excellent. His timing on that, on that step back uh, uppercut with his left was perfect. Was Solid excellent. stuff from the young Arroyo. Two rounds up so far. This fight's scheduled for four rounds. We take a look at the corner of the opponent, Cesar Alberto Martinez. Both fighters weighing in at 113 and a half pounds. Man, I haven't weighed that much since I was a freshman in high school, guys. <laughs> 113, I, I, I don't think I ever weighed that, even when I came out the womb. <laughs> That's small, man. Scrappy guys, though, are, are the flyweights, always in exciting fights. Yeah, definitely, this is, this is not the most competitive fight, but you know, it, it's a good showing. Yeah, it's a from, good test for him. Yeah, it's a good showing for Marco Arroyo. And uh, Martinez is coming to fight. He didn't come here to fold and collect a paycheck. Uh, he's actually trying out there and, and giving Arroyo trouble. No, no, I think it's important for uh, you fans to know as well, you know, a lot of the fights that we put on here in Best of Boxing are to highlight these prospects that are very young, very green in their careers. And the purpose is to expose them to many different styles. So when they're ready for that big shot or, or the move to prime time, they've seen just about everything in the ring. So there's no questions going in to a big fight like that. Yeah, Marcos, and, and this is good for the, for, for the fight fans uh, to be able to see that, that diamond in the rough. You know, what if uh, Marco Arroyo is the next uh, Chocolatito Gonzalez, you know? Uh, we don't know. Um, and that, that's what we're here for, you know, to, to be able to see uh, these guys climb up through the ranks. Absolutely. And um, with that said, I want to give a shout out to Boris Tech of Boxing Promotions for putting on this show. Um, they, they've been doing it for quite a while now. And they actually have quite a few shows come out the rest of this year. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Aurora just ate a big right hand just now, actually, by Martinez. You can tell you felt that. Stalking forward now. Trying to create space. Doing good work to the body has Arroyo. But he's also been pinpoint accurate with his jab as well as Martinez doing a little bit better job of crowding Arroyo. Something that you had mentioned at the he beginning of round number one, Chris. He needs to do, yeah. And I think uh, Martinez is actually going at his last hurrah because as much as I see energy, I also see him kind of wilting a little bit, you know, a little bit of desperation. Arroyo needs to kind of step on the gas himself and, and put that fire out from Martinez. Yeah, he's still in this fight. Arroyo, good hook and good step around there. Kick, that's great movement. Yeah, definitely, and he just needs to keep touching Martinez right now, does Arroyo. Just touch him, touch him, touch him. Doesn't have to be hard, just touch him. You know, and, and like I said, I, I see the body language. You know, I, I've been doing this for a long time. I, I see Martinez, you know, starting to fold a little bit. Absolutely. It's due to those body punches that he keeps landing on Martinez. Arroyo, very consistent with his power punches. If it's not a hook, it's a shot to the body. And, Followed up with a jab. You know, I'm thinking, and I think that uh, Marco, uh, Marco uh, Royal, what he needs to work on, um, if staying in this particular division, he's gonna uh, up his rate. 
you know, because um, I think he's actually not throwing enough for this particular division to be truly effective at the top. Um, and like we just said, like his power may not come right now, you know, so he can't really rely on his power. So he has to definitely rely, rely on, on a higher uh, 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 output. Punch output, exactly. So. Well, yeah. he is still learning. This is his second fight. Uh, yeah, it, it's easy to criticize from 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 the bench over here, but um, yeah, you're you're right, Kevin. Um, he needs to pick up that that work rate. Uh, when he comes back, he looks at this fight. Um, he's gonna see that that's probably the easiest way to get his opponent out. You know, is putting the shots together. Yeah, because when he does when he does land, it does bother um, Martinez. Let's take a look at the last moments of the third round. Royal in control. Two-piece combination there that is barely slipped by Martinez. Martinez landing punches on his own, but like you mentioned, Chris, each time that Arroyo connects against Martinez, it does bother him. So we go into this final round. Marco Arroyo of Stockton, California in the ring. Looking to get the second professional win of his young career. We see a charging Cesar Alberto Martinez. Martinez wanting to make it an ugly fight. Wanting to smother Arroyo. Great body shot there by Arroyo. Arroyo is showing some wrinkles in his game, Kevin. He's doing a lot of little veteran things in there, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm just looking at him, and uh, he's definitely doing a lot of things. The way he ties up when he needs to, the way he kind of just maneuvers his body, his opponent's body. Arroyo, though. I'm sorry, Kevin, but Arroyo letting his hands go right there. Sorry to cut you off there, but, yeah, he is doing a, a lot of little things, as, like you mentioned, in the clinch, using his elbow away absolutely. from the referee. Right yeah, there. even even with, <laughs> didn't mean to cut you off. No, but no, time. even in that flurry we saw, like we, he, he throws it when he know he want he needs to. You know, he doesn't he doesn't waste, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And he has accuracy. And he's smart. You know, that's why when I feel like he he ups his rate with all of those other factors combined, he'll be a killer. Sneaky punch there from Arroyo. Martinez, series of hooks there. Not much mustard on them, though. He's in the fight, though he's losing. He's, he's game. He's very game, very tough. And like we mentioned earlier, Kevin, um, Arroyo's gonna look back at this and, and just see that, that what he needs to do, you know. And as Arroyo right though, landing big punches. It's the activity level. Yeah. Yes, he lands big shots like those, but if he, he would keep following them up with, with combinations like you mentioned earlier, uh -huh. he'd get he'd definitely get his opponent out of there. No question. Yeah, I, I think he'll yeah, that'll definitely be a big thing for them to uh to take from this fight, no question. He I mean he looks good, he looks great, and I definitely would like to see him again. Seems that Martinez might be on the verge of potentially being stopped if Arroyo can put a series of punches there that land clean. The corner imploring him to up his volume. Yes. We get the whistle now from the commission. The final 10 seconds of this round number four. Both fighters in the middle of the ring exchanging punches as Arroyo comes forward. And that's it. Four rounds in the book. Marco Royal raising his hand. Hey, Confident we, that he has won this fight. We we have to give it to uh, Alberto Martinez on this one. He stuck in there all four rounds. He fought. You know he, he didn't he didn't uh, shy away. You know what can, what other more can we ask for? Take a look at the final moments of the round number four. Both fighters exchanging in the pocket. 
Martinez with some wild shots, but he's missing all of them because of the balance of Arroyo. Arroyo answering back with the three punch combination. Like I mentioned, Arroyo has great footwork. Good. He's a boxer. He's yeah, a, he's he knows how to measure his distance really, really well. Yes, he's a pure boxer, and he looks great. Just want to give everybody a quick programming alert. At 9 p.m., we will go ahead with our main event, Dominic Dalton. Take it on Ramon Barajas. Next on deck, we will see Rafael Sandoval going up against Abraham Yucupixio. As we're awaiting the official decision from the judges here at the Big Punch Arena in Tijuana. Baja California, Mexico. So we take it up to Pablo Flores. Take it away, Pablo. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' court cards. Después de cuatro rounds de combate, tenemos la decisión de los jueces. All three judges have the same scores of 40 to 36. Los tres jueces, Iván Velasco, Francisco Pacheco y Max Zúñiga La Bandera, coinciden tarjetas 40 a 36. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. Su ganador por la vía de la decisión unánime. From Stockton, California, in Mexicali. Marco Arroyo. See, victorious Marco Arroyo. Rep in Stockton, California. Making the ESBC proud. Y también fuerte reconocimiento para su rival uh, de Tijuana, César Alberto Martínez. Yeah, I think everybody should definitely keep an eye on this kid. Fuerte reconocimiento para el rival de Tijuana, César Alberto Martínez. The two fighters embrace, showing each other respect. As we're going to take a look at another replay now from the action in this fight. Combination here from Arroyo. One, two, three, four, five. That's that's what you call a dog right there. You know, so he got that killer instinct in him. We see it, you know. I just once physically he gets a little bigger, it's gonna be so much better. 